Hi everyone, um, I want to talk a little bit about summarization. Summarization is taking something that is long and making it short. Or in the context of language, taking a long piece of language and making it a short piece of language. Um, Gridspace has a product called SIFT, which plugs in the call centers. It gives you an overall uh, view of every word being said in your call center, every emotion being said in your call center, everything that's happening in your business on the phone. And one of the capabilities we have is summarization, taking audio, turning it into transcript, and taking the transcript and turning it into summaries. Uh, the point I want to drive home is that there are multiple what I call lenses of summarization. There's multiple ways to summarize the same piece of text, or in this, in this case, the same piece of spoken language. Uh, I have an example here. My example is about the fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling. So I have three different summaries of the same classic fairy tale. One is about a duckling ostracized for his unusual appearance, transforms into a beautiful swan. That is a summary of what happens in this story, literally. Um, OK, so the second way we could summarize it is that the ugly duckling conveys a message about transformation and self-realization and helps people realize that true, true beauty is found in, in, in one's identity or whatever. Um, summary three, uh, the ugly duckling was written by Hans Christian Andersen in the 19th century and is a, a story that comes in the context of social expectations of the norms of the time. So one of these summaries is just about the plot. The second summary is about the message or, or the uh, focus of the fable, and the third is the historic summary of what the story uh, is as maybe a piece of trivia. Um, all three of these summaries uh, are different ways that we could compress that same short story. Uh, conversations are no different. There's many different ways that we could potentially summarize one conversation. So we have different types of summarization machine learning models. Uh, in fact, we have five that are commonly used in call centers today. One way to summarize a conversation is just give me a sentence describing what happened at the highest level. And we, we call that the 1S summary. And the idea is that you know, that can be useful to just at a glance figure out what happened in the conversation so that you can kind of scan over many conversations and figure out what's going on. Or you can do downstream analysis on that summary. The second type of summary that we uh, have is for categorization. And the idea is to take every conversation and through a generative model, put it into a category and subcategory. And uh, we call that the 2S model, and that's used for a lot of downstream analytics and categorization, uh, and it allows you to actually build a full taxonomy of all the conversations happening in your business. The third type of summarization that we have built at GoodSpace we call the 3P summary, and the idea is take a conversation and turn it into like three bullet points about like how it started, what happened, and then how it ended. Um, and that's uh, often maybe the most useful type of summary if you just need to scan the, the guts of a conversation. Um, the fourth type of summary that we have, we call the performance summary. And this is, okay, imagine your job is to run the call center and, uh, or to operate the business using a call center, and you care about what happened in the conversation. Was the caller satisfied? Did the agent do a good job? Were there any follow-up actions? Was there a resolution? Uh, and these are map one-to-one -one with typical QA metrics like CSAT or typical call center operation KPIs uh, like the um, net promoter score. And the idea is to have machine learning models to predict uh, KPIs that you would care about in a call center environment. The fifth summary is imagine you actually have to review the contents of a call, like you are a QA professional. You actually have to go through what happens in the call. You can't just look at three bullet points, but you probably don't need to read like the two minutes where they talk about the weather or the Super Bowl. And so we have a fifth summary that we call the 10P summary. And, and the idea is that it breaks it into a play-by-play. -play. So it compresses it as much as it can without losing any salient information. We actually have other types of summaries We also have, uh, that we'll show in other videos. But these are the five generic summary models that every conversation in SIFT we run. And they're all generative language models that were trained at GridSpace on our data specifically for call center environments. Um, so now it's time to demonstrate this model or these five models. And to help me, I have Nick here. So Nick, you can scoot in the camera, and he's going to play the role of a call center agent. Hello, you've reached Harper Valley uh, Call Center. How can I help you today? Oh, what's your name? Oh, uh, I am Nick, by the way. All right. Uh, Nick, I um, recently lost my wallet on a rafting trip, 
and I lost my debit card as well as my whole wallet. And I also lost my ID. And I realized when I went to replace my ID, I also uh, didn't have the right address on my old ID. So I also submitted a petition to create a new driver's license. But when I did that, I realized I hadn't updated my address with you guys either. So I wanted to update my address, but I also wanted to replace my debit card. And while I'm at it, I also thought I would check my uh, account balance. So I don't know if you, I know there's a lot of stuff, sorry. So first, like, uh, you know, are you able to put in a request for a new debit card? Okay, certainly. Uh, would you like me to hand you over to the debit card service? No, I just want you to handle it now. Could we just solve it now? I'm getting okay. kind of annoyed here. What I called in, I've called, I've talked to like three people. Can we just do this now? Okay, let me bring it up. Okay, um, uh, you said that uh, you replaced something and there's uh, something about the address was missing uh, or was incorrect. Uh, is your address uh, 123 ABC Road? No, I moved. I'm now at 456 ABC Road. So if you could update it in your system, that'd be great. I moved just down the street. I'm still on ABC Road. Okay, certainly. Let me quickly do that for you. I've sent in an order for your debit card. What else can I help you? Uh, I remember you said there was the debit card. Um, anything else? Wait, so did, did you replace the debit card and you changed my address? Yes, I okay, did. Okay, so I needed the balance on my debit account and my savings account, actually. It would be, be, would be great. Okay, on your, what was your first, the first one? Oh, Are you paying your... attention at all? I'm, I'm so frustrated with you guys. I always call, you guys don't pay attention. I don't know, it's something weird about your service. Okay, let's see. On your debit card it says, I uh, have minus $50, and that doesn't look right. Uh, yeah, okay, I definitely don't have minus $50. I just deposited $10,000. Okay, you know what? I'm actually very busy. I just moved uh, to uh, down the street on ABC Drive. So I need to uh, I need to go. But you guys could call me back. That would be great. And figure out what happened with this, like, the missing deposit. I, I keep calling. I don't have time for this. I'm very busy. You know, I, I just moved. Uh, and I also have a lot of rafting trips. So if you could just call me back. Certainly, okay, uh, we'll get, I'll get in touch with uh, the fraud department as well as at the technical department. We'll make sure to call you back uh, in a moment and we'll see what we can do. All right, okay, thank you, Nick. Um, all right, have a nice day. We have our summary uh, for this conversation. Like I mentioned, there's multiple lenses of the summarization. By the way, this is Fulong and here's Nico. So first, we talked about the 2S summary, the category and subcategory. Category was banking. This is a generative summary. So this is for building a taxonomy of, of your calls. And the subcategory is debit card replacement. Pretty accurate. Now remember, there were multiple intents in the call. Um, we also have uh, the 1S summary here, which is the same as the subcategory in this call, debit card replacement. Uh, and this was summarized to just two quick bullet points. The caller lost their wallet and the agent helped them replace it and update their address. The agent also helped them with their account balance and suggested calling back later. All, all pretty accurate. Um, then we have the performance summary. So remember, this is the one if you're trying to operate the call center and evaluate agents. And so according to this model, caller intent was replaced lost wallet. It called it resolved. Didn't say there was any specific follow-up. I don't know about that. Um, the concerns address update. Um, the agent was helpful, professional, patient. Good job, Nick. Um, the caller emotion fr uh, was frustrated. That's correct. Um, the satisfaction of the caller below average. That's, a, that's accurate. And the overall performance of the agent average. Good job, Nick. Uh, he's never done in, uh, being a, a call center agent before. And then finally, we have the 10P summary. This is the longest one. And so we'll look at it. Uh, I'm just going to read the whole thing. The caller lost their wallet and ID, and the agent helped, uh, tried to help them with replacing their ID and submitting a petition, but also had to update their address and replace their debit card, and eventually had to hand over their debit to, uh, to the debit card service. The caller asked the uh, agent to hand their debit card over to the debit card service to solve a problem with the address change and the balance in their debit account. The agent was trying to track the debit card and the caller was frustrated with the service due to missing deposits, but eventually agrees to call back to figure out what happened. The agent will get in touch with the fraud department and technical department and will call the caller back to discuss their situation. All right, so you can tell these are different pieces of information. If I'm just doing like analytics, maybe this is what I want. If I'm just trying to quickly get a gist of the call, maybe I want this. If I'm trying to figure out if my agent needs a talking to, I'd maybe look at this. Okay. And if I actually need to review this call, maybe I would use this. And this is all placed to this idea of lenses of summarization. All right, thanks guys, and we'll be following up with another video on automated question answering, thanks.